If you've used VS Code before, this video will be a review. If you haven't, it will help you point VS Code to your workspace where all coursework will be completed. While not necessary to set up VS Code, you should start your servers prior to doing the setup of VS Code. By starting the servers, we can do a fast test at the end to make sure that everything is working properly. Start your web and database servers as shown in the Local Development Environment Champ setup videos and tutorials that should already have been completed. When they are running, start VS Code. The root folder that we will be using is named htdocs and should be found inside of the Champ folder. On Mac, it will be inside of the Applications folder, and on Windows, it will be on your C drive. Inside of VS Code, go to the File menu and select Open Folder. Navigate to the htdocs folder and click the Select Folder button in the dialog box. When done, the Explorer panel in VS Code will show the folder name as the project, namely htdocs. Any existing files or folders will appear beneath the name. To the right of the htdocs name are several small icons. They will appear as your mouse moves over the Explorer panel. Click beneath the Dashboard folder so that it is no longer highlighted. Then click the New File icon. A new line will appear below the dashboard folder waiting for the new name. Name the file index.php and then hit your enter or return key. Collapse the dashboard folder and you will see the file and it will be open waiting for code. Type less than question mark PHP, make sure there are no spaces there, and then hit your enter key once. Then type PHP info, again all lowercase with no spaces, open and close parentheses followed by a semicolon. Then hit enter once. Type question mark greater than and then save the file. Go to your browser and type http colon forward slash forward slash localhost into the address bar and hit enter. You should be looking at a file that fully describes the current PHP installation within Champ. If that is what you see, then everything is working exactly as it should. If this did not work as shown, get some help until it does. At this point we are done. You can shut down your servers and close VS Code.